why. Why do you want to put in the effort? This is just what I have given in exchange for these beautiful children. Lower carb, lower sugar body that I didn't feel comfortable in. Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and in today's video, I wanna share with you how I lost the baby weight after baby number four. As with any goal in life, you have to figure out your why. Why do you want to put in the effort to accomplish this thing? Why do you want to make it a priority? And for me, I had a couple reasons why I wanted to finally shed the last of the baby weight. Now, I had four kids, and after each of them, I kinda would take a little, put in a little effort to, you know, get back to my healthy range, but I knew after our fourth, he is most likely our last, I wanted to really put in the effort to get back to that healthy range, the sort of the lower end of the healthy range where I know that I would feel my best, I would feel like I am myself again. I, to be honest, had kind of resigned myself to this new mom body that I had and this is just what I have given in exchange for these beautiful children and I was happy to, you know, give that up for them, if you will. That's kind of was my thinking. And then around maybe just a couple weeks after he was born, I thought, you know what? No, I am not willing to resign myself to living out these precious years, the next, you know, five, 10 years of my life, I know are going to be so full and so wonderful as we are raising our family. I didn't want to put myself on the back burner, living out those years in a body that I didn't feel comfortable in. So I went ahead and made a few small changes, even that early on. Of course, I was nursing, so I had to be mindful of that. I wasn't trying to deplete myself of calories because I needed them to feed my son. So the main thing that I did then, and that I am continuing to, to do now, is to limit my carbs and my sugar. Now, by carbs, I really just mean sort of like the white starches. I'm not saying that what I did is what you should do. This is not a how-to video. This is not me telling you what to do. I'm just speaking from my experience and what worked for me. So things that I cut out were pasta and bagels and just traditional sliced bread and a lot of wheat products, if you will. So I still have rice every now and then. I still have barley and oatmeal. I still do have starches, potatoes, corn, things like that. I just am limiting more of the wheat products. And so I switched to like an Ezekiel bread, a sprouted whole grain bread. And like I said, I still have oatmeal. And then what I've been doing is I've been trying to skip the carbs altogether at dinner time and just focus on eating them earlier in the day so that I have time to kind of work them off. Again, nursing, it definitely burns calories. So again, I didn't want to be calorie deficient by any means, but I just focused on eating them earlier in the day. And then at night, if I was making something for our family, like a pasta dish or a rice dish, sometimes I would just swap that out for extra veggies or like a riced cauliflower that I could put whatever sauce I had made, I could just put it over top of that. And I would feel just as satisfied and I actually love going to bed not feeling super full and uncomfortable because then I would wake up feeling kind of bloated and then I would have lower energy in the morning when when you're not getting sleep as a new mom, you, you know, you wanna have as much energy as you can, which was another of my whys that I wanted to really put in the effort to shed those last few pounds was to just have the energy to keep up with my kids, to go out with them, play with them, carry them, and I wanted to just feel my best so that I could give my best to them. And then as far as sugars that I would limit, again, during the week for the most part, I was kind of having very low additional sugar, I would still have fruit, I would still have natural sugar, and I would still have some refined sugar like I would put in my coffee, or if I had like a sweet treat, I would just have it in the afternoon instead of in the evening, and I still was having some sugar, but I was just really trying to be conscious of it and really dialing back the amount that I was having at home, because then when we would go out on the weekends, 
with friends and family, I would feel like, you know, I'd be totally fine eating whatever they made, whether it's carbs, sugar, dessert. I would enjoy when I was out of the house because I had balanced it more at home and that was really helpful for me in the beginning. The other main change that I made was to stop snacking and to really focus on eating three real whole meals in my day and then I would still have I guess you could say a snack time, a coffee time in the afternoon and I would generally have something with my coffee. But just getting into that rhythm of really prioritizing healthful meals for myself and not just grabbing quick things because I needed the energy, by focusing on eating a whole meal in one sitting, it really did satiate me and fill me up and give me the energy to make it to the next meal. And if I did feel hungry in between, Honestly, I would just drink a whole cup of water. That generally took away any snack cravings. Or just, I would just get involved in whatever it is I'm doing around the house or running out, whatever it is, you know, life would kind of just take my mind off of it and then I would be, you know, I'd look at the clock and oh, it's already time for my next meal. So keeping busy definitely kept my mind off of snacking because I was full and satiated by the food that I was eating. It made it easier to fall into that rhythm and that routine and my body definitely adjusted to not snacking and to fall into that rhythm of okay it's you know this time you're ready for breakfast okay and a couple hours later I would feel hungry and ready for lunch and then again coffee time was usually you know around like three in the afternoon and then I would have dinner with my family in the evening and skip the carb and it just fell into a pretty routine cycle that was really easy to maintain. Another thing I've been really mindful of is just to eat slower and to allow my body to start to digest instead of just, I know it can be very hard when you're a mom and you're hungry and you just feel like you need to kind of eat quick and then move on to the next thing, but I really would try to sit there and focus on what I'm eating and eat slow and just really enjoy it. I really didn't limit the types of food that I was eating. Again, I was trying to eat pretty clean, lots of fruits and vegetables, but I still would use oil and butter and cream and, you know, full fats like that, avocados. And I just would try not to eat like a ton of it, but uh, even a little bit in moderation would really satiate me at meal times and then I wouldn't want to grab for those quick energy bites later on. So like I mentioned, if I would go out on the weekends or have, you know, dinner with family or dessert or something like that, I really tried to be, again, mindful of stopping when I was comfortably full, especially if I was eating a carb in the evening. I didn't want to overeat, so I would just, you know, take a portion of food eat it slow, enjoy the food, enjoy the flavors, enjoy the company of who's around me. And then if I wanted to go back for more, then I always felt like, yes, that's fine to go back for more, but just really be mindful of, okay, you ate the portion that you gave yourself. How do you feel? Do you feel satiated? Sometimes it takes a little time. Then I pretty often would not want to go back for seconds, especially if I was planning to also have, you know, coffee and dessert. A reasonable portion size for dinner and then enjoy the dessert and then get back to, you know, the cleaner eating in the morning. So while I definitely have lost the baby weight that I gained with my last pregnancy and honestly some of the weight that I had been carrying around even before that, I'm definitely not at you know ideal status right now i definitely would love to tone up and get stronger again just so that i have the energy and the strength to be a mom and you know run around with everybody but i don't really do a ton of exercising and i say that just to encourage you that Yes, you can exercise a ton, but if you're not mindful of what you're eating, all the exercise in the world won't make up for an unhealthy diet. So really trying to focus on what I was eating and that I had that control over has really, you know, given me good results, even though I'm not really able to do a ton of exercise per se. Yes, I could definitely do exercise videos at home i could do you know calisthenics like my own body resistance it's just to be perfectly honest not something that i prioritize in this season of life i still have a baby that's up multiple times a night and i'm not able to get to the gym i used to go to a gym a couple years ago 
and it closed for a while and then when they reopened it just was with restrictions that don't work for our family so i haven't been able to get back out i don't know if i will ever join a gym again i just try to find movement and resistance where i can so Again, lifting my son and carrying him while I'm doing things helps me to build up my arm strength. I do like the resistance of holding him and vacuuming or cooking, even just running up and down stairs with the laundry, not at the same time as I'm holding him, but carrying our baskets up and down the stairs and just running here and there in life around the house cleaning. I don't sit hardly ever except when I'm filming videos and nursing and going to bed. I try to just be active and moving and that definitely has been helpful again in the past seven months or so. And when the weather gets nicer and it's not freezing cold outside, I do hope to get out more and you know maybe do some more walking or jogging or something like that, hiking. I try to find activity in things that are enjoyable. I don't terribly enjoy just like a workout DVD. That's just not my thing. Maybe one day I will get into it. I'm just trying to be honest to say that I don't prioritize things like that. You definitely could. It definitely would be helpful. And if you can fit that in your day, I think it's a wonderful habit. I'm focusing more on the eating aspect right now and maybe we'll focus more on the toning when it is a little nicer outside. I don't know how much weight I've lost because I don't actually own a scale. I think the best gauge for me was just my own clothing and just feeling how things fit and feeling more comfortable in certain things and some things that just were too big and that just really helped me realize I'm kind of on the right track here. I don't ever feel deprived. I never feel super hungry. I have gone through many years of trying to figure out what works and you know realizing that I'm eating too little and then eating too much and just it's just a cycle and women have a lot of emotions and we go through different seasons and a lot of times we find comfort in food and I've just found that this system of kind of eating lower carb lower sugar really enjoying my food eating three meals with a coffee time seems to work really well for me. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.